and um, I'm hopeful that I'll be able to run a marathon in uh, next month in, in Rotterdam, um, even though I won't have all the preparation behind me that I would like, but I feel that um, um, while I'm in half decent shape, I should take the opportunity in case um, events overtake me and uh, things become worse. And also it'll give me the, um, if things turn out better than that, uh, it'll give me the opportunity to be more ambitious when uh, uh, the Toronto waterfront comes around uh, next September. Great. October, October, October the October, 16th. October, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's got delayed. What are your goals this year then, Ed? If uh, you've taken the world by storm through your 70s, what things do you have in your sights now for your 80s? You mentioned Rotterdam. Are there other records and other races that we might be able to see you at this year and share the inspiration that you bring to us? I don't know about seeing me, but I'm uh, next weekend I'm going to um, uh, Kamloops to run the Canadian Masters Indoor Championships. And um, I'm going to run, so that's a two-day event, and I'm going to run 3,000 one day and 1,500 metres the next. And uh, I'm uh, hopeful and... Uh, have a greater degree of confidence about doing okay there than I do about Rotterdam. I think Rotterdam is far more of a question mark than uh, than, uh, than next uh, next weekend. Yeah. And you mentioned uh, Scotiabank Toronto waterfront. Uh, is that on the dance card? Well, that's my plan anyway. I hope. <laughs> If um, my knees permitting throughout the, until then, I say I, um, because I won't have as much preparation for Rotterdam as I would ideally hope, um, I'm kind of have to be a little um, uh, cautious about that. Hopefully I can be cautious and uh, not go too hard at it. And... Um, if all things turn out well, if I, if I do okay there, then I'll be able to be more ambitious uh, next October.